What is up guys? So in this video, I wanted to talk about a couple things in the Titans verse, some things that were revealed, some things that were shown to us, specifically Titans and Doom Patrol. I'm sure there will be other TV shows like maybe even Swamp Thing and Stargirl added to this universe, but as of right now, it is just Doom Patrol and Titans. So for Doom Patrol, there was a poster revealed as well as a teaser revealed and a bunch of posters really for all the Doom Patrol members. One of them, the one that sticks out the most because it is the real reveal of a new character, specifically the most popular out of all the Doom Patrol characters on the show, and that is Cyborg. And I definitely have a lot of opinions on this look. And then there was also the end credit scene in Titans in the season finale, and I will go over that as well after I talk about Cyborg. So I definitely do think that it is a little more than a little bit weird that Cyborg is appearing in Doom Patrol not two months after Titans ends when they have Teen Titans here or they want to call it Titans which is a different version of the team but that doesn't really matter they're using the most iconic version of that team minus Cyborg and that includes Robin, Raven, Starfire and Beast Boy as well as Cyborg but for some reason they're not including Cyborg in that season instead they're putting him originally on doom patrol now the whole premise of the doom patrol definitely fits cyborg like these people who have superpowers and they're outcasted by society that definitely works for cyborg himself but he's such a teen titans character and they're using the version of the team the most iconic version that includes cyborg it just doesn't make any sense to me that this version of titans doesn't have cyborg when not two months later they're using him on Doom Patrol. Also, it's weird, but DC just seems hellbent on putting Cyborg on any team that is in the Teen Titans. Obviously, he famously moved to the Justice League with the New 52. Every animated movie of the Justice League, every version of the Justice League, like live action, cartoon, it doesn't really matter since then, has included Cyborg. In fact, I'm pretty sure there was a movie that came out before the New 52 that included Cyborg, like a uh, straight to DVD animated movie, but doesn't really matter, and now they're putting him on the Doom Patrol instead of the Titans. Next, they're going to put him on the Legion of Superheroes and the Justice Society. None of them will ever be as good as his placement in the Teen Titans. None of them will ever be iconic, as iconic as his placement in the Teen Titans, as the most iconic team of the Teen Titans includes Cyborg, while the most iconic team of the Justice League does not include Cyborg, and the most iconic team of the Doom Patrol does not include Cyborg. So it's weird that they're including Cyborg in Doom Patrol only two months after Titans ends. Now, I do definitely think that he's going to move to Titans after the first season of Doom Patrol, which if he doesn't, that would be insane. I don't understand why they would do that. Just put him on Titans after season one, so it's possible they're just setting up the character here and then moving him to Titans. That being said, he does not look good in this poster. First of all, I do think that the actor looks the part. Obviously, I have no idea if he's a good actor. I'm guessing that since they cast him, he's probably... A pretty good actor but he definitely looks the part the problem here is all of the cyborg parts of cyborg first of all they put a whole jacket on him and pants on him which i'm guessing is going to wear most of the time maybe even in fight scenes which they are obviously doing to save budget and the fact that they have to put cgi in all these parts i'm guessing some of it is cgi some of it is practical but even the practical parts those probably take a lot of time to put on so they're saving that time they're saving that money by putting this jacket on which yeah that's smart and all but it just doesn't look right it looks legitimately weird and it's really frustrating that they have small such small budgets on these shows characters like cyborg starfire raven beast boy or even elastigirl in this show and the negative man they all require cgi and they all require bigger budgets but here they have such small budgets and they don't end up looking good and cyborg is no exception the biggest part of this whole look and the worst part of this look i mean is his whole cybernetic part on the head you might be looking at that part of cyborg and thinking that it looks good but there's just something off about it and that's definitely 100 percent true two things are off about it one of them is that it doesn't connect to the rest of his body if you look at cyborg in the comics he has that part of him that's metal only a little bit part a little part of his head but it connects to his chin and his neck and the rest of his torso, and it looks more natural there. Obviously, I mean, it's not natural, but it looks like it connects to the rest. It doesn't look like it's just on his head. And the second thing is the fact that it doesn't look like it replaces his head or that part of it. It looks like they just placed a chunk of metal on his head that he could just take off whenever he wants. And I don't think that is achievable. I don't think they could really make Cyborg look good at that part of him without using CGI because it's not like they could really replace his head, that part of it, with actual metal 
practically they have to use CGI to like put like they have to put like a green thing on his head or that part of his head whatever they want to do what really what they did in Justice League in the movie and replace it with CGI and make it look good instead of making it look like there's a chunk of metal on him it'll look like that part of him was replaced with metal which is what cyborg is now i do think they could make this look a little bit better by really connecting it to the rest of the body but really if you want to achieve the best looking cyborg which i'm guessing is definitely very expensive and again if they want to choose the cheaper route just connect it to his chin and the rest of his torso but if you really want it to make it look the best it can possibly look it needs to be CGI. This is comparable to Cyborg Superman in Supergirl Season 2 where they did have a replacement to his head that looked like, it looked good, I mean it looked cybernetic, it looked like CGI, it looked like they really replaced that part of the head with um, robotics, but then every time they got, every chance they got to put a chunk of metal on his head, they took it and it looked ridiculous. The same thing is here, I do think that they should at least add the metal to the chin and the neck or replace the entire thing with CGI because as of right now it looks really really weird it just looks like there's something off that I do think can be fixed pretty easily all that being said I don't hate the look I think with what they've been given which is a very small budget they probably did the best they could I mean obviously I do think they can improve it a little bit by adding a little bit on the chin and the neck with the cybernetics but I don't for some reason they didn't want to do that maybe it really restricts the movement of the actor which I definitely can't see it doing that so if this is what they wanted to go for and they didn't think that the look of it really mattered as much as I do then that is fine and also it's a huge improvement on the previous live action version of the character in TV which was 10 years ago and I think that was the first version of Cyborg in live action TV and he looked ridiculous because they didn't even try to make him look like a cyborg at least here with a very small budget they tried to make him look like a cyborg and they did not a very good job but a much better job than Smallville did also he doesn't look nearly as good as he looked in Justice League but he definitely looks closer than you would expect because Justice League had a humongous budget that they did mostly squander and cyborg his CGI was a little bit unfinished Still much better than his look on Doom Patrol, but just given the budgets, I mean, it's not even comparable. So this version of Cyborg, I don't love the look. I don't even like the look, but I do think I can get used to it. And I am still pretty excited to see this character because I am a huge fan of Cyborg in the comics, especially when he's a member of the Teen Titans or the Titans, which I am excited for him to join the Titans if he does in Season 2. Speaking of Titans Season 2, in addition to most likely Cyborg, we will also be getting Superboy in Season 2, which was teased at the end of Season 1 in the end credit scene, where the scene where this guy in a laboratory kills a bunch of scientists and then uh, lets a dog free, a white dog, that that dog's eyes glow red, which is obviously Crypto, the super dog, and it shows on this guy's arm a tattoo of Superman's logo obviously this is Superboy and Crypto is there for some reason as well maybe in this continuity Crypto was actually created through the DNA of some dog and Superman maybe instead of uh, being from Krypton which does make a lot more sense why would there be a dog from Krypton so I do like that change if that even is a thing it doesn't really matter at this point but one thing you see in the background of this scene is the fact that this is all in Cadmus Industries, which is similar to Young Justice, as well as the comics, where Cadmus clones Superman with Lex Luthor, creating this clone, which is Superboy. He takes on the name Connor Kent and becomes a superhero in Young Justice. He becomes a member of the Young Justice. In the comics, he becomes a member of the Titans as well, which is probably what's going to happen in this season in season two one thing i also realized is in the first season of season of titans in the last episode they mentioned superman quite a lot which they never really did before in the season they did hint towards him like uh they mentioned the justice league which i'm, I'm guessing is a member of and both versions of dove meaning don granger and the original don hall are both seen wearing superman t-shirts in the season but then at the end in the final episode Superman was mentioned quite a lot in the dream world as Batman's old friend that he had a falling out with and Superman can't even convince Batman to not kill people like the Joker Jason mentioned him Starfire mentioned him so he was mentioned quite a lot which probably was intentional to lead up to this tease that he is being 
clone. Now I'm guessing they're probably going to do something similar with what they did here with Batman in season two of Super of uh, Titans with Superman, which is they won't show his face. But he will be a character that will be appearing, which is something that will most likely be a recurring theme in the show. Because Wonder Girl with your Donna Troy, Wonder Woman will probably appear and the same thing will happen. Kid Flash and Arsenal may appear in the future. And then the Flash and Green Arrow, they could do the exact same thing with those characters. I don't really want them to do that. I think they should just cast actors in the role and just have them not appear that much because they're not the main focus of these particular shows but at least have them be played by someone. But I'm guessing that's not what they're going for. I'm guessing here in Season 2, Superman will be a shadowy figure that you never see his face, while Superboy will be a main character, and he probably will bring Lex Luthor along with him, as Lex Luthor was half of his DNA. As the, Like I said, they used Lex Luthor and Superman's DNA to create Superboy. And speaking of Lex Luthor and Superboy and Superman and that whole storyline, it was said a while back, before the season actually aired, like the showrunners behind the show or whoever behind the show said that they will consider a storyline in season 2 or a future season with Lex Luthor and Superboy and it seems like they are already doing that in season 2. That's definitely something I'm pretty excited for. Superboy is a pretty great character. He could definitely be a great addition to this team. I would like to see the team grow and grow, maybe lose some members as well, like just to make it not overflown, but some great Teen Titans members in the comics like Kid Flash, Arsenal, Superboy, and Cyborg can definitely join the team, which as of right now is Robin, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, and I guess uh, Wonder Girl as well, maybe even Hawk and Dove if you want to consider them a part of the team. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on Cyborg as well as Superboy in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.